Good morning, everyone. So we slumbered here at Albany Saratoga Speedway. We are still here. Uh, so everyone's getting clean up. I am currently working on the video. I think maybe we're gonna go get some food. And then we're gonna head, I think it's about an hour south-ish from here, and we're gonna go to Lebanon Valley uh, with the Super Dirt Car Series. So, yeah, this is, um, it's 11 o'clock, so we're just taking our time. What are we playing? Shoot the straw wrapper. Into what? Oh, we're playing it into that little thing? See what you got, Jax. Oh. You guys are those customers. For real. How dare you teach those kids to play at the table. <laughs> Meanwhile, the adults are the ones playing. Yay! Everybody's off to the races. Well, while the guys head to the races, I am going to find a cafe here in downtown Troy, which apparently it is like the busiest time because there's like a market going on. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go edit the video, get that hopefully uploaded, head to the track. I think pick gates open at three, so. We're just gonna this is like one of the perks of driving yourself like the only perk is you can just go explore the towns oh yeah look at this <laughs> got myself my chai latte oh it's so freaking cute in here video is edited, it is scheduled, and this town is so freaking cute. Okay, I know. Guys, I get it. You're not here for the cutesy aesthetic vibe towns, but super impressed. I think I'm like 30 minutes from the valley, so... <laughs> I just did that. Um, gonna go find my car. I'm I'm not a city person in this. I, I'm I'm a hell of a parallel parallel parker. I will say that. But besides that, get me to the racetrack. It's pretty cool waiting in line to get your wristband. There is a drag strip here at the valley off of the back stretch. I mean, they're drag racing like all kinds of cars. It's very entertaining. Not sure if anyone knew that existed, but I do remember when we used to stay here was waking up to the cars going down the drag strip. That that's quite the interesting wake up call. Aren't already working? Yeah. No comment. <laughs> no comment. Oh. Load up, bring it in off the back. When we come out over time, we'll go into those subgroups and then we'll split them into smaller groups. You're coming right to the racetrack hot for a green white checker.
on the inside. Ferry, New York, aboard car number 35, Mike Mahaney. Mike Mahaney aboard car number 35, starting on the inside of the fourth row. Green flag flies, and Super Matt goes to work as he takes the lead up through the east end off a of turn number two. for the number five spot starting to develop down the front straight away as Mike Mahaney got a power to the inside of Wayne Jelly. He'll take that fifth and final transfer position away through turn number two. He'll be your new fifth place man. Mike Mahaney now starting to close in on the 88 of Williamson as they go through three and four. White flag out on the speedway. One lap to go. start 13 one spot out of the redraw probably with a drew 12 anyway so i'm pretty happy with that um, what we needed to do is just come back guys worked really hard we had kind of a, a fuel carburetor issue uh starting out the night um, and everybody did awesome to find a solution for that the car's running much better now Still a lot more confident going into the future. So still good. We got we got a good set of tires to put on and halfway deep the starting spot. So. Not yet. Not yet. No. 
If they don't hurry up, I might though. But those cars are so noisy. Aren't they? No, we're just putting on another yoke. Another yoke. And I was expecting the problem. We looked in. like when you like stick your head, not that you put your head in a fishbowl and it's like, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't, I, I don't know. Um, I think we got 12. We were running down. I lost to like two cars, we're biased, like four to go. But I mean, if we had no brakes, it's, this is a scary track to be running without brakes. I failed as a life. Concession stands are closed. My husband did not eat food. What am I gonna do? Holy crap! Looks like this tire. 
is on sale. It's on, it's on sale? $100, I'll even wow. mount it. So we ended up losing uh, brake fitting with about 25 to go or so. Uh, no rear brakes. Really slowed me down quite a bit. So I, and I started abusing the, the right rear tire a lot, and uh, which then we kind of lost that at the end too. So uh, just you know one of those things that can happen. But I'm really happy that we were able to finish and uh, to finish 12th with that is pretty good and to not hit the wall or something <laughs> or have something dangerous happen but you know luckily we didn't have any restarts after I lost the brakes so I was just kind of rolling my laps and uh, uh, normally I use quite a bit of brake pedal here so um, it, initially it was pretty hard to keep it off the wall but then I kind of got in a rhythm and um, we had a number of other issues tonight, which you probably saw. So um, I want to thank all the guys, uh, especially uh, Lance, Brian, and Rich for busting their tails at the shop this week to get ready for this big weekend. And um, and then Art and my dad and Matt. And um, I don't know, we had a big crew tonight. Um, so sorry if I'm leaving you guys out, but uh, Thanks for the extra help. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, you can't come up to us and let us know you enjoyed the videos. So thank you and um, looking forward to Utica tomorrow. Consensus says we finished 12th. I am heading west to Utica, getting a head start because the girl forgot to get Michael dinner. So we're gonna try and find something en route before everything closes. Pick it up, meet him at the track. I don't know where we're staying yet. Maybe stay in the Toter. Maybe stay in a motel, hotel, holiday inn. So here's the two hour drive. A number six, but beef instead of chicken. What's your drink? Bottle water. Ooh, your girl is hungry. Oh boy. Fast food at 12 o'clock at night. I haven't eaten. It's very dangerous. I highly don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. I think I should have one more water. Oh, yeah. No, you're good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let me tell you what, my ears are still ringing. Oh, I gotta start wearing headphones or plugs or something. Let's see, is anybody here? I don't see anybody. Looking. Oh, we're in. We get here how freaking early. No one is, no one is here yet. And my husband picks the farthest spot in the pits. I get it, but that's something that I would pull. I think I'm rubbing off on him. <laughs> Excuse me, mister. You've got this whole entire pits and you parked all the way as far as you can go. This is where Pacey tells us to park every time, so I figure rather than having to move, we just park here, way in the back. That's where Pacey likes to put us. All right, are you ready for Chuckle Bill in bed? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, full disclosure, this time next week, our dinners are going to be looking completely different. Oh boy. Oh boy. How are we going to find that kind of food at 12.30 Your wife night? is going to have to food prep for it. Oh, that's a lot of work. Uh, Oh, yeah. for the person not doing it, jeez. You're not the one doing food prep. Well, there's times where I race when you're not here, 
so I'll have to do it then. I'm pretty sure I'm with you the whole month. Wow, there is a race car here, just randomly. Whoa. Just sitting itself. there too. Yeah. Did he just did he just leave it from Friday? I guess that's kind of trusting. Uh, anyways, so we will catch you guys tomorrow. We've got Utica Rome. Uh, what is it? Twelve thousand win tomorrow. Yeah, fifty laps. Fifty laps, twelve thousand win. Be there. Like this video. Subscribe the channel. Head over to Patreon, become a part of Club DTU, hang out with us over there, and uh, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye! See ya!